So, uh, welcome to AQA Certificate um, Past Paper and this is going to be um, just a non-calculated paper for further mathematics and yeah, so you can just read all the instructions I'm not going to bother with um, talking through them and it's basically the same for each paper and now for formula sheet you can just copy them down if you want to it will be provided in any test of um, AQA's further math paper so those equation will be there so now it's to question one curve has greater than function dy over dx equals 9 minus 3 uh, x cubed so um, how to find the gradient well if x is negative 1 then we just substitute the value into it so it's minus 1 to the power of 3 is minus 1 uh, so it's 9 minus minus 1 which is 10 so for this question it's um, a 10 so that's simple uh, let's do the next question um, or maybe I should do no I don't think I need to step for that um, then second, uh, 1b, work out the value of x where the rate of change of y with respect to x is 1. So this uh, looks a bit complicated, but um, you can basically cut it into three um, chunks. Um, the value of x is one chunk, then the rate of change of y with respect to x is one thing, and this one is another. So this one I've uh, told you in the differentiation um, video that this actually means dy over dx and so uh, if you're watching this video I expect you to have an understanding of those concepts so um, yeah so it's basically find x when dy over dx is 1 for that equation so it's just a plain old um, 1 equals um, 9 minus x cubed which will become uh, x cubed equals 8 and that would be um, cube root 8 and you should be able to do, the in, uh, do this in your brain which is um, 2 so x will be 2 okay so let's go to the next question it's now a circle question so we need to find um, um, the coordinate of center so this is a bit of coordinate geometry and circle theorem um, because we have a circle we know that AB is a diameter uh, given um, right here so what we need to do is to basically extend B downwards um, and extend a horizontal and they will meet 90 degree on the circumference which is one of the um, circle theorems uh, angle in a semicircle and so now we have the two uh, coordinates so we just need to use the larger coordinate subtract the smaller coordinate to get the distance so for um, B uh, this height will be um, 11 minus 3 which is 8 and the horizontal one will be 2 minus negative 4 which is 6 so that is a 6 and an 8 so for this you just need to use Pythagoras theorem a squared plus b squared equals c squared to get a b equals 10 and so we have the distance of the diameter and we know um, for coordinate geometry we just need to um, let's see let me use paint again um, it's minus 4 um, let's see minus 4 3 2 11 minus 4 3 2 11 so these are the two um, distances so according to coordinate geometry if you want to find middle point of these two 
you need the x coordinate of that um, point will be the large one minus the small one and everything divided by 2 and here you'll see how I <laughs> prepare my video every day <laughs> and yeah you have to sit with me with um, for the duration of this paper I think so it's now 11 minus 3 for the top and again negative 2 not ne uh, divide by 2 so that would be um, the y coordinate um, hope you understand that so that is the middle points coordinate and it's basically the difference of the uh, x coordinate divide by 2 and the well, average, let's say. So what we um, do now is just calculate that and you should be able to get 3 and um, 4, okay? So we've got 3 and 4, but this is not really the coordinate, it's just the distance of, uh, from uh, the small coordinate uh, to the larger one like um, if this is these two are the points what I've done there is to uh, find the middle point right here and this is basically the difference of this and the difference of this so this is 3 this is 4 so what we do is for with this equation uh, not uh, this coordinate which is this point we add the coordinate to it so basically it's minus 4 plus 3 is negative 1 and uh, 3 plus 4 is 7 so the coordinate of the center of the circle will be 7 uh, 1 7 uh, negative 1 7 who sorry for that um, so this is the answer for that particular question and so let's proceed to um, work out the radius of the circle oh why um, so we want the radius of the circle we know the um, one of the circumference point and we know the center point so basically it's just this and I've said that the difference of these are 3 horizontally and up 4 so what do you think of that? It's a right angled triangle, is it? So what do we do? Well, we want that radius out and we can do a Pythagoras theorem here. So 3 times 3 is 9, 4 times 4 is 16, add together 25, dif uh, root it is 5. So that would be a Pythagoras uh, triangle, a Pythagorean triangle, people say and so we know that the radius is 5 so convenient and yeah this is 5 and now the equation of circle but well, we've got the radius we've got the center how difficult will this be well we know that if the coordinate of the center is a b then uh, the equation of circle will be x minus a squared plus uh, y minus b squared uh, equals to radius squared so that would be um, c x always bracket it x minus one uh, minus minus one so it's plus one um, squared plus y minus seven squared will equal to radius squared and we know that radius is 5 so 5 squared is 25 so this is the answer for that question and yeah that's that so we can proceed and we've got P P is another point on the circle the gradient of the line AP is 2 find the gradient of the line PB so let's um, look at the um, question I don't want this. Um, okay, so look at the question. AP is 2, the gradient. AP is 2. 
and now it's time for circle theorem and we know that if AP um, is a straight line then PB will make a 90 degree with it which is what we call perpendicular and that would make the gradient negative um, reciprocal so um, that gradient will not be 2 instead it would become um, minus 1 divided by 2 which is minus half so that is quite a convenience of that fraction sign uh, so let's see this paper is quite long actually uh, think about that uh, so we now need to find the gradient of that well we have found it because it's a negative reciprocal it's n minus one half so that is convenient well it's one mark anyway so it's not gonna work a lot now ABC is a right angle triangle P is a point on AB okay cool interesting then PB is 4 given and tangent X is 2 thirds work out the length of BC so we want BC what we can do with that we've got tangent tangent is opposite by hypotenuse we can't really use this uh, angle because we don't know AB but we can use this X because we know PB which is the opposite of that triangle uh, so if tangent x will equal uh, is equal to 4 over something and it's equal to 2 over 3 we can quite conveniently say that um, 2 over 3 is equal to um, 4 over something is it? yes and that is just normal tangent thing and I hope you understand that I'm not gonna perfection it uh, perfect, uh, perfectionist those um, fraction lines just to save time so two of the question marks which is the thing we want will equal to 3 or 4 so 3 times 4 is 12 so we know that the question marks must be equal to 6 okay so we know that BC is X okay um, BC equals 6 let's write it there so now we've got BC down 6 and work out AP AP is the short length of that so what we need to do is first find AB um, so now because we have BC we can use this angle actually to get um, AB and then after we have AB we can subtract BP to get AP if that is not confusing enough uh, so what we need to do is because tangents well two third is equal to BC over AB uh, BC over AB is equal to two thirds Oh, caps lock. Darn you. There we go. Um, again, not gonna do those ridiculous um, editing. And so I save a bit of time. So now we know that 3B C is equal to 2ABs because of cross multiplication. These are multiplied. So, just so you aren't confused, I'm gonna add a sign that, uh, and, well, equal, okay? So, yeah, so now we've crossed, um, multiplied it, then, because we have BC equals 6, we can do 3 times 6 is 18, uh, divide by 2 is equal to what we want AB is, which is, um, AB equals 9 so that would be the length of 
the straight line, but we have an overlap of 4 cm, so we need to do 9 minus 4 equals 5. So the answer would be 5 centimeters. Whew, let's proceed because I'm a bit fed up with that. <laughs> so now, solve that. Well, I, I love thirds, you know. It's just ridiculous. Everyone hates them for some reason. I don't. So now we want x. What do we do? Well, we know we want to get rid of those thirds. What? Well, then what cancels out a third? You square it. So basically that would become... Uh, let me clear this mess. So that would be 33 minus third um, x, which is... I'm not gonna bet on my um, computing skill and say I remember the short key for that. It's plus, not minus, you idiot. Okay, so e equals to 6 squared is 36. I'm probably gonna use my cursor instead of uh, typing it out now. So, um, so we've got that, so we just need to um, light term it, so now we know that roots x is actually 36 minus 33 is 3, so we know that we have to square it again so that x equals 9, so we've got the answer 9, and I can edit this um, adult file for some awkward reason. And um, now we've passed question 4 to question 5a, show that this simplifies to that. Well, it's a neck convenience. Uh, see if I can copy that out. Nope. Never mind. Um, x plus 7 squared plus... This is a circle equation, I think, or minus, no. Minus another bracket, x something. Uh, s minus 3 squared is equal to... Um, well, we need to prove that, aren't we? Yeah, we're, we're showing that simplifies to that, so we aren't using that. We need to calculate this thing first. Okay, so it's x squared um, plus 14x plus 49 minus, um, do the bracket so that you aren't confused with signs. So x squared then minus um, 6x not squared, um, but plus 3 squared is 9, okay? So that would make it so that x squared minus x squared, which is 0, uh, plus uh, 14x plus 6 is 20x, then it's 49 minus 9, which is 40. So that would be um, 20 times x plus 2. So that will have proved this answer. So that is that question. And I have something else to do c right now. So I'll pause the recording and I'll be right back to do question 5b. Or maybe I should leave this off and give a part 2 for this video. So. This is Jerry, and I will see you next time to finish this paper. And so, see you next time.